end, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, we need to talk about cardboard. You know, this stuff. Relax, it's just cardboard. So why exactly did we build two boats out of the stuff, drive 336 kilometers to Wheatley, Ontario, a town with less than 3,000 people that literally blew up two years ago to race in a swamp? Science! We did it for science. And because all these kids did it. And it doesn't look that hard. I'm fine, I'm crying in a boat. Uh-oh. Have you ever built anything before, Laura? Um, I'm sure I have. I've built assembly furniture. I built a picture frame once in ninth grade. Does that count? Probably not. This might sound really bad, but it's true. I am excited to do some math. I love doing like math equations that have some math is theoretical because all you have to do is be lighter than water. And because of how heavy water is, it is very, very light. So are you feeling competitive about this? So I've actually made sure that my boat will only carry me, mm. but if you're going into any issues, it'll also carry you. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you just I made me want to beat you. I, okay. You just made me want to beat you. Okay. Teams are provided two four feet by eight feet sheets of corrugated cardboard, two rolls of duct tape, and two hours to make a boat. Good luck. Two hours? Two hours of fun. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be great. 10 seconds. Three, two. I already have to pee. There's not even room to do this. We're not using any measurements. We don't believe in those. I'm gonna make the frame of the boat first. Then after I've done the frame of the boat, I'm gonna work on making all the supplementary additions. I'm gonna like make a box. <laughs> And with that, the frame is cut. Because if you don't have a good support, it's oh. so. I can kind of hear Marianne, but it's really faint. Oh God, this is the worst idea ever. Ever heard of... We're waiting on the riverbank, babe. My riverbank man. No blood on my riverbank hand. Ah! Uh-oh. Finger? Yeah. Okay, how about it? Um, how that hurts. I just need to put pressure on it. I think I have like, what, an hour left? You have like 45 minutes? <gasps> I have less than an hour? Okay, I have a boat. That's great. I have something that's gonna float. The question is, how do I make it float long? Oh. <laughs> I really wanna quit. <sighs> I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even know what I'm doing. I hate this. I'm actually on the verge of tears. I know this is supposed to be fun, but I'm just really tired. I just need a vacation. I'm crying in a boat. I'm crying. In a boat. <laughs> uh, how much time? Uh, I'm just under two minutes. Okay. Looks like that's my boat. Here she is, in all her beauty. <sighs> Two hours of chaotic boat building complete. But before we put them to the test, we should probably figure out how exactly does a boat float? Well, it turns out it's less about size and more about density, or the mass divided by volume. When you place a boat or any object in the water, you have the force of gravity pushing down on it. But simultaneously, another force is pushing back up, the force of buoyancy, which is determined by the weight of the water being displaced. Anytime an object enters the water, these two forces are at play. So if the object weighs less than the amount of water being displaced, the object will float. Or at least we hope so. I'm gonna try 
This is a swamp, right? This is a swamp. So where are we going to? Going to um, where it says Westlake. Okay, that's not too bad. We can make it to Westlake. <laughs> Good game. You did really well. Thank you. I do. But honestly, I think I've got to prop it to you. I tried to do the Lake Erie onboarding and it did not work out. I killed my toe. We we went across a whole river. We did. In cardboard. We did. The spirit of your riverboat man, I think, helped us both. Mama said, go, you gotta leave this land. Papa said, no, I wanna hold your this riverbank land.